Hello everyone and welcome to Keswick Chapel's The Chew. This is the place where we dig deeper, where we chew on God's Word so that we may learn more of Him, where we may grow in grace, and where we may encourage one another. Welcome, let's get started. So I want to remind you that all of the CFCN messages, the Keswick Chapel messages, the Keswick Chapel The Chews, all of these can be found on the Facebook page CFCN Church of the Nazarene dash Charlottesville and also the Keswick Chapel messages and the choose can be found on YouTube on the channel Keswick Chapel so I encourage you to do those this week we're going to be looking at the divine selfie God is love part two this is the message that Pastor Bud Reedy brought in the service yesterday at CFCN in the 1030 service. If you missed that, I want to encourage you to go watch that. It'll be a blessing to you and it will be an encouragement to you. It was a great message. We're highly encouraged about this week and looking at God is love. So this week, we're looking at John chapter 15, verses 1 through 17. I want to encourage you to grab your Bible. I want to encourage you to read this passage in full today. I'm only going to read the first two or three verses because I want to focus on the first point of the message from yesterday, which is connecting with God who is love. So grab your Bible. John chapter 15, and I believe we're going to just read verses 1, 2, and 3. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, He prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Father, we love you. We thank you for your word. We pray that you would lead us and guide us. Father, we pray that you'd help us to have eyes to see and ears to hear. May we have receptive hearts and minds as we read and study together. May you receive all glory and honor. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So thank you so much for joining me. And as we look at these first three verses, we want to focus on connecting with God who is love. But the second point for this week is remain in God who is love. So we have these two points like we did last week. And so today, as we talk about connecting with God who is love, we see then the first two verses, three verses, that Jesus is speaking to this right out of the grave. What does he say? First of all, he says, God, cut, God cuts off every branch that does not bear fruit. And then secondly, he says, God prunes every branch that does bear fruit, so it will bear more fruit. Connecting with God can only be done through Jesus. And as one of his branches, we must bear fruit. Jesus clearly said so in verse 2. So bearing fruit is how we are connected to the God who is love. So how do we get connected? Well, first we get connected by choosing to follow Jesus as our Lord and Savior, accepting his payment for our sins, and then by choosing to believe in him for our salvation and to make him Lord of our lives, then we are connected to Jesus because of this truth. And then secondly, we stay connected by obeying Jesus' commands. Well, what were his commands? We, we read the, this opening here, but look at Mark chapter 12, verses 30 and 31, where Jesus says this, we're to love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and we're to love our neighbor as ourselves, right? So as we think about that, I, I started thinking about, oh, wait a minute, 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 21 last week really reminds us of this point of God's love. Remember, we spent all of last week talking about this. So as we consider that and we look on these verses as well today, I want to remind you of a point that Pastor Bud made yesterday that only through agape, God's love, are we able to unselfishly love another person. Only in and through agape, are we able to hold others in higher regard than we do ourselves? Jesus demonstrated this for us on the cross when he thought more highly of you and I. And that reward that waited for him is actually you and I 
coming into the kingdom. So Jesus demonstrates this high regard for others on the cross. When we look at this first point again tomorrow, we're going to be going deeper. We're going to be looking more deeply at all of this. And so getting connected with a God who is love, we read this passage. I want you to read it every day. Read it again today. Read it in full. And as you do, I want you to think about this. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you as you read that passage? What are you going to do about what the Holy Spirit points out to you? And then, as you chew in on that, I want you to chew on some other questions. First of all, are you connected to the vine that is Jesus Christ? Secondly, are you a branch that bears fruit? Do you love God with all of who you are? Do you love your neighbor as yourself? Think about these things. Chew on these things today. And let the Holy Spirit guide you, will you? I believe that you'll be encouraged and you'll be challenged by what the Holy Spirit leads you. Drop me a note. Send us a comment right here on Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube, leave me a comment. Let's engage in a conversation about what God's love for you and what a God who is love means to you and how that is impacting your life. Father, we love you. We thank you for this time together. We pray that you have received all glory and honor to yourself, Father. Help us, Father. Stretch us. Adjust us by the Holy Spirit's leading to think about the things that we need to think about, that we need to grow in your grace, Father. Father, give us the boldness of Christ to make the changes in our lives that you lead us to make. And then, Father, we pray that you'd help us to think more highly of others, to put others first, to serve, Father. We love you. We thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you'll go in the peace of God. Bye for now. Blessings to you.